Okay, we got some light. <whistles> Late night, early morning. I can't tell y'all what time it is. Never let a person know what time you gonna be wherever you gonna be at. Those that know, know. Some know, don't know. So we out here, all you hear is that metal. that metal. And everybody getting their beef on. Just a little tip on how I keep my dogs beefy. And this is a real beefy one. One year old. Everybody asking about Krypton, Athena. Uh, excuse me, Athena should be pregnant. Athena should be pregnant. A lot of crazy stuff broke out, man. A lot of wildness, man. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of things make you ready to quit. <laughs> Now we just put them on that stick. A stick will be harmed in the process of making this video. But, you know, gotta let a dog be a dog. Got crit time right here. Glorilla. Having fun eating up a stick. Let them get their grind on. Yeah. Knock it off. These are my less aggressive dogs. Hey! Still gonna get a little aggressive. Okay, let's shake. Shake on it. to do is it allows me to put extra work on them you know extra work build up those bodies we're gonna be studying out our study studs so we need to Really, really start working out on working those guys out. Hey. You guys. Work them out, y'all. Little weight on their necks. Everybody likes these dogs. But they are like the most common dogs. Let's see if I can call them off. Hey! Come on! 
King, Bishop, I mean. Bishop. Bishop, come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. A lot of dogs don't have no recoil. Come on. Gorilla. Quick time. Quick time. Quick time is off all, all. On two, but she's not to go mommy, see? Come on, recoil. Come on. Now, a lot of times you'll see people on TV recall their dogs, and their dogs are not recalling. They're actually shocking them. And I'm not saying that there's something wrong with that, but they make videos giving y'all the impression that they can recall their dogs off. And I'm be honest with you, if they were in a fight, I couldn't recall them off if they got into some kind of situation, but look at this fool. Now, some tree person that loves trees is mad. You gonna put a hole in the tree? Yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess with these dogs. This is the tree. The tree was hard in the making of this video. Come on, get off of that. Get off of that tree. Gor gorilla, come on. And in my dog's defense, some other dog already bit that tree. Gorilla, come on. Gorilla. Ah, ah, gorilla's hard. Get off of that tree. Come on. And in Gorilla's defense, she wasn't the person that took the first bite. And but she damn sure took the last. And I know y'all gonna be like, oh, your dog ate a tree. Yeah. And you're right, it did. But all this grass in this whole land is fertilized by dogs. So they have the right to eat a tree now and then because they do fertilize the land. And keep everything green and luscious out here. Believe it or not. They fertilize this land. You know, you're mad at my dog for eating that tree. Get mad at the guy that cuts this grass. Because if he didn't cut this grass, this would all be trees. Get mad at him. Don't be mad at my doggy. There's trees, okay? And all these trees and all this grass is fertilized by these dogs. But even though what, sit, gorilla, sit. I mean, uh, Krypton, sit. Sit, sit, Krypton. Not lay down in the grass, you dirty lady little dog. Krypton, sit. So I just wanted to show you guys, you know, that they could be recalled, that they're not just crazy. Now, if I would have had the object, I couldn't stop them from trying to get it. You know what I'm saying? Watch this. Go! Gorilla! Gorilla, go, go. See what I'm saying? <clears throat> so we got them out here, man, just working on getting them thicker and stronger. You know, one thing I do, if you look, Krypton got a lot of weights on her neck right now. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring King out here and I'm gonna put two weights on Athena's neck because Athena gets into fights because she probably won't get into another fight, but when she was in heat, she got into the fights because other dogs, you know, growled at her, chewed on her, bit her, but the outcome wasn't good for the other dogs that bit Athena. And normally Athena would let things slide and let it glide, but it turned out to be damn near homicide because, uh, whoo. Athena went wild, but a lot of times when dogs go in the heat or when dogs are pregnant or when dogs are in heat or going in the heat, they get really aggressive and they get into fights and it can get bloody and it can get messed up, but the dogs will um, heal up and have their babies and then everything go back to normal. Sit, sit, Krypton, sit, Krypton, sit. Look, she's running off. You see the other one's coming, so she want to run. But we out here in the lake. Whenever we out here, I can't tell y'all what time it is. Never give nobody, you know what I mean? 
disclose your location. So they out here, they running. We're trying to get them a lot more exercise. We want these guys to look good on camera, good in photos, you know? I did some photos the other day. Gorilla! She going over there to mess with that tree. Gorilla! Sit! Krypton is, Krypton is like that. See, thing is, her mother was big. Hey! Krypton! Krypton does whatever Gorilla does. This is Krypton's father. And um, he's gonna be out for stud, man. So if y'all need a nice stud with muscles, sit. He's got ABKC papers, UKC papers. He's a real chill dog. Like, so if y'all interested in making dogs that can chill around the house, he does not go in a cage. If y'all looking for a dog that can chill all day, but yet it's a dog. This is this guy right here. He can produce XLs on tall dogs. And on medium-sized dogs, he kind of made this thicker dog. But he's definitely uh, close to I mean, I'm not sure if he's really an XL all the way or not. I think I got him measured at 20 inches. So a lot of people nowadays are like, no, that ain't no XL. But I mean, okay. I ain't got time to be arguing with mom. Especially if you don't even own a dog. But, um, you know, he's almost four years old. I think, yeah, he's about two, well, about to be three or four. I can't really remember. Sit, sit. But we're trying to get him real cut up. He is nowhere near the size that he's supposed to be. But the good attribute is his father was like 130, 40 pounds. His mother was probably like 100 something pounds. So, I mean, for sure, I've seen him produce 100 pound dogs, 120 pound dogs. Sit. And he's very obedient. You know, he's got that smushed in face that a lot of XL dogs lack. A lot of these dogs got these long ass faces. So you, if you like smushed in faces, this is your guy. This is my guy right here. And he has, um, he can breed naturally. Bishop! And he's very obedient. You see these guys, they're just rude and rowdy. Come here, Bishop. Come here. We out here in the late night, y'all. All you see is eyes and bugs. But, um. <whistles> damn, this damn thing got a nightlight on it. But, um, basically. He's up for stud, guys. And if you want a dog that is, you know, a lot of you guys are just breeding dogs that are overly aggressive. And y'all breeding some dogs that got allergies and bad posture and long snout. So if you want a short back dog, Bishop's your man. If you want a dog with some drive, Bishop's your man. You want to shorten up that snout, Bishop's your man. You want a dog that ain't trying to bite and kill every dog. Bishop is that dog. Bishop does not want to attack any other dog. He just wants to mind his business. As you can see, he didn't bite anyone for a stick. And he could have. Very intelligent. Sit. And I think a lot of people sit. They only talk about one aspect of these dogs, man. And I'm going to get into that right now. They only, hey, Bishop, sit. They only worry about how big the dog's head is, how big the muscles are, and the pedigree. Now, he's got the most famous dog in his line. You can Google these dogs. All of my good friends and followers. Um, Google the dogs that I'm about to tell you. The most famous dogs in Bishop line are Dragonaut. Look up Dragonaut. It's a big ass wide dog. Then you got Mac 10. So just Google American Bully Dragonaut Bullypedia. Google Dragonaut. Um, also, Dragonaut is a blue dog. Mac 10 is a blue dog. And there's another dog. Uh, it's a bunch of them. But you got Terroristic Threat. Google American Bully Terroristic Threat. Google American Bully Domestic Threat. Domestic Threat is Bishop's father. Big ass, 130, 40 pound dog. Now Bishop came out regular size. Sometimes that happens. 
And a lot of times people don't like to breed those dogs, but here's the problem. When you take big, big, fat dogs and then you breed them to other big, big, fat dogs, you get big, big, fat dog problems, hip problems, joint problems, skin problems, eye problems, because all you did was just focus on that one thing. When you take a big, big, fat athletic dog, big, big, stop. If you take a big, big, fat dog and breed it to a dog like Bishop that has muscles and is very functional, that has that bloodline of the big dog, what you'll get is big, big dogs that are more functional, more muscular, and more healthy. But people only want to breed the really, really big, big dogs. And they, not even they don't even let these dogs out the cage. These dogs have no lives. And these dogs, they're not breeding them because they're smart. They're not breeding them because they're healthy as far as like fast runners or athletic. Hey! They're breeding them just based on appearance. So what you'll find out is, is you're going to go out and buy a dog for six, seven, eight, nine, ten G's. That's dumb as a doorknob. Unhealthy. Can't run. Can't work. You can't do nothing with this dog because all it's doing is attacking other dogs, running around. It, it, it just don't listen. It's a dumb ass dog. So I'm here to tell y'all, I got a dog that's smart and has the pedigree, but he's not as big as those dogs. But I'll challenge you this. Bring me a dog that's bigger than Bishop that can hang in the air, bite a rope, can sit out of the cage. Show me an XL American bully that you can leave in the house, drive to New Jersey, or drive to New York, or drive to Carolina, or if so, show me an American bully you can leave in your house for 24 hours, no cage. It's not gonna bust the windows out and shoot the furniture out. He don't get on the couch. He don't make no noise. Show me that American bully. That's Bishop right there. Bishop can, doesn't need a cage. Bishop does not need a lot of food. Bishop does not need to even go outside, but like twice a day. Bishop can go two, three, two, three bathroom breaks, five minutes a walk. Show me a dog that you can leave in your house um, for a week, just by walk, just let them out, use the bathroom three, four times a day. That ain't gonna chew the house up. They ain't gonna chew a sneaker up. Bishop's never chewed up a sneaker, never chewed up a wall, never did anything bad, really. Show me an American bully that don't won't start a fight with another dog off the GP. A lot of dogs will be aggressive over this stick. Like King, keep it real. King is going to want that stick. And King is going to bite you if you get too close to his stick. Show me a dog that can jump in the air and hang and swing. And then show me, I'll show you his offspring. Glorilla. I mean, Krypton. You know, one years old, healthy, smart, common nature, very respectful. Krypton, stop. Sit. See, that's how attributes pass from father to daughter. Now, it appears that Krypton has a longer snout. Sit. But that's from her mother. And in reality, it's not a longer snout. Sit. Because the face is just going to get wider and wider. And wider and wider. So it won't look like that forever. Krypton came out really short and snout. Stout. I don't know. I'm not sure how big Krypton is. This Bishop's daughter. But, um... Krypton's comes off of XLs from Ghost Star and Bullies um, bloodline. So Krypton is, is, is probably coming off of dogs that's 150, 160 pound dogs. But Krypton came out short and compact. A lot of you guys, XLs, y'all need a short and compact dog like this. Now, not because it's short, but it's a little tall, but the compactness from the neck to the butt or to the neck to the back of the tail, just like Glorilla, from the neck to the back of the tail. Short, compact. They're not really short, but they're just not long and tall and lengthy. You know, Krypton's probably coming. I mean, Glorilla's probably coming in at about... I'm going to say 22 inches almost. Whatever the maximum height is for XL females. She's probably right there at the max or half an inch from the max. So she's probably like 20, 22 inches. Because she's taller than Bishop. And damn near the same height as King. And King is a tall dog. But what I want you to understand is a lot of these long XLs are long backed. And both Krypton and Gorilla are short backed. 
Why is that important? That's important for the show ring dogs. You know, so if you breed them with a good, good show ring dog, all right, stop. They're gonna push out more shorter backs. Crip time. Crip time. Get off of that. Stop. Crip time. Nope. You're gonna get yourself hurt by your daddy. She wants that stick. She wants to play. Crip time. Say she being bad. Hey, no. Sit down. I say sit. Very obedient. Very, very like respectful. Uh uh. Sit. Crip time. But she's just a little hyped up. Um, and she's thick. I can't really get the goodest picture, the greatest picture. Come on, y'all, go. I can't get the greatest picture for y'all just yet. And I can't really know if I'm showing y'all how thick Krypton is, man. But I'm telling you, she's damn near super, super, super thick. And so is Glorilla. They're right there at the size where if they get any bigger, they probably won't be um, as athletic as they are. So technically, I don't really want them to get that much bigger because I don't want to lose the athletics. But I do need that exaggerated features. There's no point in breeding American bullies if you're not going to push out those exaggerated features. So she's got exaggerated shoulders. You know, and Bishop, we need to get him a lot. We need to get him more muscular. Deeper muscles. You know, we got to work him out a lot more. But a lot of you guys in American bullies have allergies look at that bishop has no allergies bishop has no skin issues athena no allergies no skin issues uh krypton no skin allergies no issues man and y'all y'all getting these six and seven and eight and nine ten thousand dogs and y'all selling them out and they're becoming aggressive towards other dogs they unruly they don't listen so you know what i want y'all to understand about that is is yes I can sell you a dog, right? And then if that dog doesn't act right or perform well, you're not gonna want another one. So sometimes you gotta take a step back, take a step forward. You know, not saying messing with Bishop if you take a step back, but if you got dogs and you know they're overly aggressive, they got allergies, or they're too fat, they don't have leg muscle, or they got long ass snouts, or they got long backs. If Bishop's right here for you, he can breathe with XLs, pockets, or standards. He's right here at that size where he can produce whatever you need him to produce and if you got those xl dogs when we breed our xls right here we're going to make sure we don't do too many breedings See, these dogs are short short back you know what i mean short legged wide chested there are dogs out there that are more wider there are dogs that are might be even shorter back there but these dogs are like right in the in that zone of athletic short back dogs and the feedback I get from the public is phenomenal. They all love these dogs right here. And look at this. Not no hard breathing. Even though if it was daylight, he wouldn't be breathing hard. So I just want y'all to consider that. It's not like having a dog that you can be proud of. And you know, I can open the door up when my wife come home from work and he, and he can go out front and just stand on the steps without biting anyone or attacking anything. And we trying to put a little bit more muscle on it. That's why we out here like this. We're gonna get out as much as we can. It just keeps raining here in Baltimore and it won't stop. It will not stop raining. But you know, that's my little rant for the day. Come on. See that? Look, he's ready to bite. <laughs> he think I got something for him to bite on. Come on, Bishop. Bishop been still chewing on that stick for a couple years. That's like some kind of stick that just won't go away. But yeah, man. Sometimes you gotta, you know, mess with some dogs that got some smartness in them. So when I take these dogs to like some thick, super thick, extra athletic dog, I mean extra thick back dogs, You know, oh, you gotta watch out when they do that the branches, y'all. When I breed these guys to some extra thick, super thick dogs, they'll be able to have the puppies and those dogs are gonna exhibit those super thick features without being overdone. If you know anything about American Bullies or Rockwilders or any breed of dog, it's nothing like an overdone dog. 
That means you done made the dog too fat. Too much fat gristle. Now you can't have no fun. Look at this dog. You wanna be able to have some fun with your dogs without them dying. Whoa. I was going in for the shot. I almost got hit. All right, we out, y'all. Sorry for that bully rant.